Liza, you've probably been waiting for this phrase for a good while now. So, Elijah, you may kiss the bride. How do you navigate a wedding for your precious sweet daughter? amid the COVID-19. How do you watch her dreams of a big wedding at a beautiful venue disappear? You cry some and you change a lot of what you're thinking of what's really go. important. Your we daughter has found him who her soul loves. No, we know it, no. Your prayers, no, your dad and I's prayers, have been we answered the garden, ever since you were born. We've we been praying the garden, for this time, this person that God had for you, no, that you would find this godly no, young man who loves Jesus with all his heart. And that's exactly what you found in Elijah. something of the fire of God was something of the refreshing latter rain of God and he found my new daughter and before the beginning of time God meant for them to be together and he put in my heart a redhead the way she looks the way she acts how delightful she is to my very soul I've been waiting for her they met in a different country Honduras through a well-meaning friend. From there it went to Facebook interaction and then a date at PAX, coffee shop in town. And uh, supposedly word on the street is it lasted about eight hours or so, at least that's what I heard. <laughs> I was an intern with the missions organization and so I was helping all of the other interns put everything up so that we could go back to the U.S. the next day. You, you said, hey, you know what, how can I help? I'm here to serve. Oh, yeah, we so found out that we have gone to the same I church in our entire lives and never knew each other. So my sister. You knew my so brother, my I knew your sister. She was my childhood friend. And we had never so met good. each other, or at least that we remember. We so God had to open our we eyes in Honduras, of all places probably showing us um, what we're going to do in our lives, traveling, helping others, serving nations. Whoa! <laughs> Kelly, meeting you was a changing point in my life. Little did I know that such a beautiful, loving, and hilarious woman would come along and teach me what emojis were. <laughs> True. You are beautifully, spectacularly precious and lovingly adored. My love, I promise to cherish you each and every day, seeking and pursuing after you relentlessly. I vow to learn from my mistakes and love you past yours, to hold you in the beautiful highs of life and the lowest of lows. Mm. I vow to protect you, honor you, and fight for your dreams today, tomorrow, and forever. Mm. Elijah Rain Farmer, you have shown me the love of God through your actions, words, and heart. What an honor it is to be chosen by you. I promise to always speak life and truth over you, to speak into your destiny, and call you to live out the dreams God has placed in your heart, to encourage you through trials and serve you every day. I will love you with the agape love of Christ because he first loved me. I will choose you every day starting today.
this love that I give will not be self-seeking, but a love that is giving of myself, sacrificial, and will remain unbroken. I promise to change the world with you, to push back darkness with you, to break chains with you, to glorify God with you. No matter what comes our way, I choose you. No matter the price I pay, I choose you. As long as I live and starting what today, I choose to you alone. has failed. Kelly, now nothing <sighs> will when I watched you out there get down on your we'll knees to wash his feet, I started crying because like never in my life have I seen such a clear representation of the person that you are. To every single person, you get down on your knees and you wash their feet. Every person you meet. For the first time in my life, I have seen that representation. I truly understand what it means now. Because that is who you are. You get down before everyone and you put their needs way above yours. You put their heart, their dreams, their passions, their purpose above yours, always. That's who you are. And so when I saw you do that for Elijah, I started to cry and I truly actually understood what that meant and what God actually meant when he wanted that to happen. Your name is unshaken. Elijah, you've probably been waiting for this phrase for a good while now. So, Elijah, you may come I will go with you. Watch the ocean kiss the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Elijah and Kelly Farmer. Earth is about to change. You guys are about to change so many people's lives. And God's really investing with you guys with this relationship, he's like, wow, I see these two people who on their own are both strong and powerful and have so much meaning. I'm going to put them together. And so he put you guys together and oh my goodness, the preparations and they're going to be some of the best parties that heaven's ever had. You have such a tender heart. You and Kelly are two people that have the kindest spirits. And I think that together you guys are a match made in literal heaven. I know that God had ordained this before the beginning of time. I was so sorry that I couldn't help your original dream come true, no matter how hard we tried. But we still came alongside you to help this day become very special, no matter how small a group that we all are, knowing that you're entering into a sacred covenant of marriage founded on Jesus Christ, which after all is truly what it's all about. My darling Kelly, this day is my dream come true too.